Welcome back to the Texas music scene, friends. You know, whenever we catch up with a brawn, it's always a great time. With a few laughs and, of course, good music and probably a few drinks. We sat down with Gary Braun of Mickey and the Motor Cars for another look at the 2017 version of the Braun Brothers Reunion Music Festival in Chalice, Idaho. I think I was there. Cheers. Overall, I think it was just one of our better years. You know, we had Le Leanne Womack, and then we had a lot of our regular guys that we're all really good friends with, like um, Turnpike Troubadours. They've kind of become a staple up there. Obviously, Randy and Wade and Cody Canada, I don't think has missed a year. And I think he's been there every year since we went to Chalice. Maybe he needs an award or something. <laughs> We had Ned Ledoux for the first time, who I thought was killed it, was awesome. It was good to see him up there, and uh, old 97s were killer. Let's drink whiskey and do it all night long. Oh, let's get drunk and get it on. It was the first year that me and my brothers kind of took over the production end of it from my parents, who had done it for the last 30 years, so. We put a lot more work into it than we have in in the past, I guess. It's kind of a gradual progression with us helping them out over the years, but um, it was the first year where they really gave us the reins. So that was challenging and fun for us too. My Uncle Gary and Dad and Uncle Billy have been playing music in Idaho for 50 years, it, which uh, makes them sound old because they're not, which they are, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding, Dad. <laughs> Scratch that from the record. So we were able to give, that guy made them the really cool Braun Brothers reunion belt buckles and we presented Dad and Uncle Gary with that, which was neat. Um, meant a lot to them to kind of just get recognized, I think, our way to just say thanks for starting everything. And I was lying next to Katie on that old Navajo rock. Aye, 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 Katie. Shades of red and blue. I think Jeff Crosby and the Refugees was one of the greatest shows that we had this year. Just them being hometown boys and they got a chance to get out there and kind of show everybody what they got. But aside from us, my brothers and I, Jeff is like the Idaho guy that we've brought back a couple years in a row. Not that he wouldn't anyways, but it's like he really goes out there and gives it everything he's got. Because it's, in Idaho there's only so many chances to, to play in front of 3,000 people, you know, and it usually happens in the summer in August. <laughs> We drove like 30 hours nonstop, I think, to get to Chalice, Idaho. I remember we, when we got on stage, it was maybe one o'clock in the afternoon, something like that, and it was raining. Uh, and I, I just remember we opened up with Lonesome 10 Miles and it went for the guitar solo, so I got to step away from the mic for a second. And uh, when I did, all standing right there on that side of the stage was Mickey Braun, Willie Braun, Cody Braun, and Gary Braun. And I was really, my blood was pumping, and I don't really ever get nervous ever. Um, and I was, I was nervous, man, looking up at that big mountain out there and uh, the setting was just absolutely gorgeous. And you know, those four guys I've been listening to for so long were standing right there listening and the looks on their faces were pretty decent. You know, they didn't seem too disappointed. So uh, that was just a, a cool feeling and, and something really cool to be a part of. And you could tell the, you know, the, the vibe and the reaction of the other artists that we knew that were up there um, were kind of like, hey, it's a big deal that y'all are here. Um, and it's an even bigger deal that it didn't make y'all leave right after y'all played. So, yeah, but we were, it was, that was badass. Yeah, Idaho has so much more to offer than the Brown Brothers reunion. You know, I mean, it's got, it's got whitewater rafting, you know, it's got uh, fly fishing, great hunting. It's got, uh, the scenery alone is worth the drive. You know, I mean, I think we could all agree on that. It's just, it's an incredible state that I think is pretty underrated. 
I think just being outside is a good thing for kids and adults. And then, and taking advantage of the fishing and the boating and the camping and getting outside of the motel and thinking outside the box is, I think it's a really healthy thing for everyone. It's kind of been a, I think an eye opener as we brought say Randy Rogers out for the first time. And he obviously just immediately gained a bunch of fans and had a lot of uh, a really good connection with that crowd. And so those fans have gotten to a place where it's like, well, I like Randy Rogers, so maybe I should listen to Cody Canada. And I'm like, well, that was great. And so now I'm gonna listen to uh, Whiskey Myers and, or just some of the newer bands, you know, as they come up the ladder. Just the scene itself has grown to a place where people pay attention. It's kind of like a venue that consistently books the same kind of music, you know, it's like, People just go to that venue because they know that the show is going to be good whether they've seen it or not, which is cool.